So, here are all the people that are here. We have, there's Champ over there. We have Remix. We have Nana. There's Amir. There's Mommy. There's PJ. There's Corey. And there's me. We're all here in the same room because... Wait! I, I said him. Oh. <laughs> now you're, okay, you ruined it. So everyone that is here, we have we have Champ, we have Remix, we have Nana, we have Corey, we have PJ, we have Amir who was back there, <laughs> and we have Mommy, and we are all here in the same room because we be cooking. Yes. We be cooking. We be cooking. So, Corey's a wild, he's in his natural habitat. This has happened before. This has happened before. in his phone. He's on the prey. This wildfire is in Napa often. He's tricking the food. This wildfire is trying to find his next victim. Earth. I was gonna say this <laughs> universe. Yeah. yeah. This victim here. is in the shape of Brussels sprouts. This environment. Like the vegetables. It's a wild quarry. They like to blend in the natural <laughs> natural colors. So oh, what are we cooking? So tonight we are making uh, citrus miso salmon with bang bang uh, Brussels sprouts. That's why we're launching. What is the bang? I have no idea what a bang bang means. <laughs> Apparently it's going bang bang. It probably means a little kick. It's going to be a little, little something to it, but it's going to be a good time. Ain't that right, my boy? <laughs> you tried to walk you away. To walk away. <laughs> you actually grabbed his butt the neck and it really hurt. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, but hey, it's so it hurt. It hurt. I could oh be, like, be like, hey, Peach, oh my god, I'm really hurt. <laughs> Those are um, the Brussels sprouts, and then we have the salmon under here, which is getting on its little drying pan. to toss them with olive oil, salt, and a pinch of pepper. We are going to massage the oil and seasonings into the Brussels sprouts. Okay. Okay. Like you're helping make bang bang sauce. Let's so. go. The Brussels sprouts. So they're in halves and now they're in halves. Halves. <laughs> so the next thing we are going to do is toss the Brussels sprouts. So I get that this instruction said that you're supposed to use you know, the baking sheet to season and oil the Brussels sprouts. But personally, I think it's a lot easier to season and massage Brussels sprouts in a bowl and then transfer them into the pan. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're going to do. We are going to take these lovely Brussels sprouts that have been rinsed, halved, and ready to roll. And we are going to... So you got juice to them and toss them in oil, olive oil, <laughs> and some salt. Salty salt. And I know that looks like a lot of salt, but there's a lot of Brussels sprouts. Why does it say so much salt but a pinch of pepper? What's wrong with pepper? I don't know, but we're not going to listen to them because we like pepper. Yeah. We're going to toss them around. I have on a glove, so I'm using my hands, so it's fine. I didn't have a glove. <laughs> And season, salt, and pepper. <laughs> and I'm going to give you guys a little trick that I like to add is onion powder to my Brussels sprouts. And that is going to be a nice flavoring. They didn't ask for those, but I'm going to use onion powder. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> And so, that's going to be nice. That's nice. 
All right, so these Brussels sprouts have been oiled and seasoned, and they are ready to go on the baking sheet. With the chips! With the chips! So right here, so right here we have three tablespoons of miso paste. We are going to take uh, three quarter teaspoons. I'm sorry, yeah, three quarter teaspoons of our uh, zest. Not mine. Lime. This is lime zest. So we... Oh no! <laughs> Y'all see that? <laughs> no, 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 and pass me the honey. So now we have some honey. So like jelly, you had a workout. And now we have some honey. You got to grip it in the middle. I never really liked it. I never really liked it, honey, honestly. I'm a graphic. There is a mirror. And Amir is right now has some steak because. Oh, <laughs> are you good? <laughs> Put a COVID disclaimer right at the <laughs> COVID. No COVID in the house. <laughs> now here we got a nice uh, slab of steak. I'd like to see the sesame ginger. Sesame. What could always separate the No sesame ginger. You don't show Sesame Street. It's ginger from that show. Okay. Oh. So cooking isn't the hardest part. Getting things out of the wrapper. Like packaging. Packaging. Mm -hmm. The packaging and like. Oh. Ooh. 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 We got some um. Steak blood. Some juice. Steak blood. Some juice right there. Two types of people while cooking. They're this, these people who are on the cooking side actually doing the work. And then there are these people. <laughs> hey, hey, no, no, no. Just because you're on that side doesn't mean you're there. No, 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 no. We got ya. We got ya. That's the main one right there. Now, what was it? 
So we're finishing up. We're finishing up. We be cooking with the town's family. Um, you know, everybody's around. Everybody's here. You better. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Wait a minute. Why do I hear rappers rapping? <laughs> Um, despite some subtle biting, but that's okay. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Hi, other day. Hi, other day. Also turn on the post notifications so you never miss a video. Um, this is part two. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Not gonna lie, I kind of like the first one better. It was kind of like our first time filming, and it was like a whole lot of fun. It was like woo woo woo, but whatever. Stay by pizza. Bye. Oh, right on. See ya. Peace out. Oh.